Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about front panel toolbar options. As you can see, we have a lot of options present on the toolbar. Starting from here, we have this run button option that is the arrow. So in order to run the code, we have to click on this button, right? In LabVIEW, we do not have to compile the code because the compilation has is being done automatically in the backend, right? If you find this arrow broken, then it means you have done something critical wrong, critically wrong on the block diagram. That is your code development. So resolve this and your uh, arrow button will be fixed once again, right? Uh, let me show you. So if you have done something critically not good, then you can see the run button is broken, right? So you have to fix the issue and the run button is again good to go. Now we have this run continuously option. It means that your code will running will run once again and again and again, even it has, uh, you know, encountered the stop condition. So it will automatically bypass all the stop conditions that is present in your code. Then we have this abort button, abort execution button is used to stop the code while running. If you want to stop your code immediately. Now we have this pause option. Pause option is used to pause the code while running. And then whenever you pause the code during running stage, LabVIEW automatically highlights the location at which the execution is currently being done. Now we have this text, text settings option. This option is used to, uh, you know, change the size of the font, style of the font, justify the margins, or even color of the font and then we have different font types. This option is called as align object. Use this option to align multiple objects whether you want to align them left or you want to align them right. Let me show you if we have multiple objects in front of us and uh, these are not aligned properly just like this and we want to align them. So what we can do is select all the objects together Go to here and I want to align through the left edges. Click over here and you can see all the components are aligned left. The other option we have is distribute objects. Use this option to distribute all the objects or some objects present on the front panel in such a way that they have equal spacing. We have different options in distribute objects also. For example, we can do, you know, horizontally or vertically in vertically or horizontally we have different options how to distribute uh, through top edges or vertical centers let us now distribute it vertically and through the vertical gap when i click this option you can see now every object that is present on the front panel have equal spacing the third option the uh, this option is called as resize objects if some of the you know uh, controls have different size and you want to make it similar use this option here we have minimum width and height or maximum width and height and similar options at the moment what i want is to ha have this numeric 2 3 and 4 have the same width as numeric so what i'll do maximum width and height or maximum width so let us quickly select maximum width and height. And as you can see, all the objects that are present over the front panel has been converted to the same size. The last option that we have over here is reorder. If you have multiple objects present over the screen, for example, if I place this race block in front of all the front panel objects that I've created recently, now my, all the objects are hidden, you know, behind this box but i want this box as the background and all the objects in front of it so what i'll do is i'll select this option and go to over here and click on move to back now it will automatically moves uh, to the back of the screen right and as i as you can see all the front rest of the front panel objects are present in front of the box so this is all about the front panel toolbar 